Hi, my name is Marav. I'm a yoga teacher and psychotherapist in New York. If you're having difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep at night, you probably know how frustrating and exhausting it can be. Not being able to fall asleep, suffering from insomnia, is often related to high levels of stress. Today I want to show you four restorative yoga poses that will help you to calm the nervous system and quiet your mind before you go to bed. You're going to need three blankets, a bolster and a wall space. Let's begin. Place a bolster vertically on your mat. Fold each of your blankets like so and place them on each side of the bolster. Take your third blanket and place it like this on the bolster. Then come sit in front of the setup. Bring the soles of the feet together and let your knees fall to the sides. Take the two blankets and place them under your shins and thighs for support. Come to lie on the bolster with your head and neck supported by the blanket. Extend your arms alongside your body with your palms facing up. Lengthen your tailbone forward. If you feel any tension in your lower back, slide further forward, creating a bigger space between the bolster and the sacrum. If you need to extend your legs forward at any moment, do so. Once you feel comfortable, allow your eyes to close from top to bottom. Soften and relax your groin and your thighs. Feel your back and shoulder blades held and supported by the bolster and let them release and sink heavily down. Soften your facial muscles. Relax your forehead, your eyebrows, the little muscles around the eyes. Let your eyeballs release back into their sockets. Soften your temples and your cheeks. Relax the jaw, the mouth, the tongue in your mouth. Relax your throat. This area of the jaw, the mouth and the throat is associated with words. Words are associated with thoughts. Even though you're not speaking right now, the thoughts are still coming in and out. What often stops us from falling asleep or keeps us up all night is our racing thoughts. Releasing tension from that area will help you slow down your thoughts and quiet your mind. Another way to slow down your thoughts is to slow down your breath. Oftentimes during the day, we hold our breath, sometimes without even noticing. Holding the breath may be a response to stress and or a cause for stress and fatigue. Use this pose with your chest and ribs so open and supported to breathe more fully and smoothly. When you feel ready, begin to deepen your breath. Inhaling slowly to your belly, rib cage, and chest. Exhaling slowly, chest, rib cage, belly, all the way out. Continue like so. Let the breath come freely in and out. Stay here anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes. As you rest in this pose, Notice if you're still holding any tension in your body or in your mind. See if you can identify and pinpoint where that tension is. Throughout the day, we often collect tension, both physical and emotional tension, that is then being stored in our body. Use your exhalations to release that tension, to soften your muscles, to soften your brain to slowly let go of the day that you had. For the last few moments, extend your legs forward. Then bring your feet to the mat, roll onto your right side, and slowly come up with your body first and your head last. 
Our second pose will be Viparita Karani, legs up the wall. This pose is a gentle inversion that helps release tension from the legs and the lower back, reduces fatigue, eases anxiety and stress, and quiets the mind. If you are menstruating, do this pose without a bolster so your pelvis is not higher than your chest. Bring your mat and your bolster to the wall. Place the long side of the bolster parallel to the wall. Leave about three to six inches between the wall and the bolster. Sit on the end of the bolster and have your right side against the wall. Then bring your left arm and shoulder to the floor and swing your legs up the wall. Have your lower back and ribs supported by the bolster and your shoulders and head on the floor. If you feel discomfort in your neck, place a blanket under it. Take your arms overhead, bend your elbows and turn your palms to face up. If you are tighter in the back of your thighs, it might be more challenging to get the legs up the wall and to relax them without overstretching. If this is the case, move the setup further away from the wall and try again. If you still feel strain, bend your knees slightly. Once you've found a happy place for your legs, your back and your arms, allow your eyes to close from top to bottom. Feel the support of the bolster and the floor underneath you and surrender to the softness of the pose. Release the heads of the thigh bones and the weight of your belly deeply into your torso toward the back of the pelvis. Soften your shoulders, relax your arms. Relax your facial muscles. Soften your eyes and turn them down to look into your heart. Allow yourself to let go and to fully rest. You can stay here anywhere between five to 15 minutes. Slow down and deepen your breath. Long, slow, deep inhales, and even longer, deeper exhales. When it's time to come out of the pose, bend your knees. Press your feet into the wall and slide back until your buttocks is on the mat and cross your legs over the bolster. Keep your arms above your head with your elbows bent and palms face up. Stay here for a few deep breaths. Then bend your knees Roll onto your right side and come up. Now we'll move into our third pose, supported seated angle pose. This pose is a calming forward bend that helps soothe the nervous system, quiets the stomach, intestines, and the liver, and releases tension from the lower back area, which is often associated with stress. Fold your two blankets like so and place them one on top of the other on the bolster. Come sit on the mat with your legs apart and your bolster between them. If you feel any discomfort in your inner knees, bring your legs closer together. If your lower back rounds, come sit on a blanket or two. This will lift the pelvis and tip it forward to maintain the lumbar curve. When you feel comfortable, lean forward and rest your belly on the bolster. Bring one cheek to the bolster and hug the bolster with your hands. Add more height under your pelvis 
or on the bolster if you need to, until you feel completely held and supported. If necessary, lift your bolster higher up and rest your forehead on the bolster like so. You can also rest your forehead and your arms on the seat of a chair. Close your eyes and relax your facial muscles. Relax your neck and your throat. Relax your abdomen and your chest. Let your body release down towards the ground. Let it be completely held by the props. Bring your awareness to the sensation in your body. Withdraw your awareness inward, away from external stimulation, away from your daily routine and your busy schedule. Breathe deeply and freely. You can stay here for one to five minutes. If your mind is wandering around, gently try to bring it back and focus it on the sensation of your body and the breath. To come up, open your eyes and slowly lift your torso back up. Remove the bolster, bring your palms to your inner knees, bend your knees and bring your legs together. Our last pose is Shavasana, final relaxation pose. Place the bolster like so in the center of the mat for your knees. Open a blanket and place it like this at the top of the mat for your head. Then come to lie on your back with your head and neck on the blanket and your knees on top of the bolster. Extend your arms alongside your body. Turn your palms to face up. Let your legs roll slightly out. Close your eyes and let go completely. Relax your feet, your shins and your calves. Relax the front and the back of your thighs. Relax your sacrum, relax the pelvis. Let your back release heavily down. Relax your abdominal muscles. Soften and release your ribs and your chest. Relax your shoulders, your arms and your palms. Let them sink heavily down. Relax your neck and your throat. Let the back of the head sink heavily down. Soften and release your facial muscles. Let them release now towards the back of the skull. Let the bones themselves feel heavy and the skin loose all over your body. As you continue to rest, begin to invite a deeper breath. To the best of your ability, rest your mind on your breath. Follow the path of your breath. Notice how the belly and the ribs rise and expand as you inhale. Notice how the belly contracts and recoils as you exhale. Feel the cool air passing in your nostrils as you inhale and the warm air coming out as you exhale. You can mentally count your breath to help you keeping your mind focused on the breath. Inhale on a count of three. Exhale on a count of three. If you cannot breathe comfortably for three seconds, you can breathe in and out on a count of two or less. After a few rounds of even breath, begin to gradually make your exhalations twice as long as your inhalations. If you inhale on a count of three, exhale on a count of six. Make sure you are not straining your breath. This breathing practice relaxes the nervous system and can reduce insomnia, sleep disturbances, and anxiety. 
Repeat it for a few cycle of breaths and then come back to your even breath. If manipulating the breath makes you feel anxious and hypervigilant, just let go for now and try again when you feel ready. Slowing down your breath will help you slow down your day and invite you into a quieter, calmer, more grounded place. Rest and sleep come naturally from this place. Stay here for five to ten minutes. When you are ready to come out, keep the languid somatic memory with you in your body as you move quietly back to your bed. Once you've settled comfortably in your bed, if you lie, continue to focus slightly on your breath, using this gentle process to help you relax and release into restful sleep. Namaste.